Hey guys, it's the score. First we did Twitter, then we did Facebook. Let's check out Last FM. Alright guys, let's launch Last FM. Now this app takes a minute to load, so I'm just going to tell you a few things about it. So far it's been my favorite app. I have a few small gripes. And uh, if you don't have a Last FM profile, just go sign up on their website. It's free and it's a really good service. Anyways, it starts you off with your recent stations. This is just music you've been listening to recently on this program. Um, I was listening to some Owl City and Mini Boss Radio just for testing purposes. Uh, if you hit up, it has your library. You can it just picks a, I guess it mixes all of your stations together into one. <coughs> Uh, your loved tracks is kind of misleading. It doesn't actually show you a list of your loved tracks. It just tells you what loved tracks are. And then to the right of that is just a bunch of bands that you've added into your last FM profile. Um, I'm not sure where some of these came from. I have some weird stuff like this. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Um, Alright, this is a cool feature and something I've actually used in the past. I've found quite a few awesome bands this way is your recommended recommended stations uh... you can click here and it just randomly picks one for you or you can go around say you've heard good things from motion city soundtrack and just boom start playing music also you can just check out what other people are listening to by the most popular stations here Got some death cap cutie the beatles radiohead all that good stuff this is a cool feature, um, if you're just feeling like you're in the mood for some uh, folk music, just hit that, and boom, it's going to load some folk music. So if you're not in a particular mood for a certain band, but you just want to listen to a good genre, emo, electronic, country, classical, blues, it's got all sorts of stuff. It also shows you what kind of bands you'd be listening to. So if you went with pop, you'd hear mostly Michael Jackson, Madonna, Britney Spears, The Beatles, Kylie Minogue, and Robbie Williams. So that's cool. It shows you kind of what you're getting yourself into before you click on it. Gamer Stations is interesting. It seems to just be music for gamers or remixed classic video game songs. I wonder if any of these will actually bring up Nintendo or Sony songs. Cause that'd be kind of funny. Uh, you can start a new station just by searching. So let's say I wanted to find Muse. Done. Brings me right to Muse Radio. So that's really nice. Uh, you can switch your user. Last FM settings is kind of just auto load. Auto loads shows photos when you're streaming music and allows scrabbling. And if you don't know what scrabbling is, it's basically every time you listen to a song, Last FM records it to try and find better music for you. So if you like a song, they know you like the song. Alright, let's go back into Muse Radio and we'll look at the display a little bit. So it's buffering the music. On the bottom right here, you can skip the track. And as far as I know, you can skip the tracks as much as you want. And turn this down a little bit. You can stop the track, there's no pause button. So if you stop a track and you go back into the same radio station, it's just going to find a new starting point. Uh, you can ban a song so it will never show up again. You can love the song. Uh, you can look up information about the band. So right now it's the strokes. Shows you how many people listen to them, how many times their songs have been played, some pictures, biography, similar artists, and what their tags are. Hit B to go back to music, and it just shows a nice display of all the artists and their photographs and whatnot. And you can cycle through the pictures if you want by using the D-pad. And if you hit this X button here, it just seems to make that bigger or smaller. I'm not quite sure what that's for. Anyways, I have a few gripes with this. Um, 
I kind of think that they should have some sort of way to tag the music for purchase, especially since they're going to be launching the Zune Marketplace with it. I think that'd be a really great feature if you could hear a song you really liked on here and then tag it, and then next time you go into Zune Marketplace, it says, you tagged this, would you like to purchase it? I think that'd be a really good way to, maybe you forget the song, and you go into the Zune Marketplace and it just it just reminds you, oh yeah, that's what it was. Um, the other only real big gripe I have is you can't listen to the music unless you're in this app. So say I wanted to listen to some Owl City and play a game in the process, I can't do that. Um, you'll hear the music starts playing, I leave the app, it's done. So just a few small gripes. Overall, it's, it's been the program I've used the most since I've updated my Xbox, and I hope you liked it. See you next video.